climbing. I was driven by purpose with a steel glint in my eye. But why? What propelled me to these literal heights? What caused such determination that I would ascend into the clouds? Well, well that begins a day prior. The actions of that day being my impetus to scale this man-made monolith. Let's dive into it. I awoke on the beach and quickly ran into someone building into a decaying base. He's in the act of doing it. Maybe we can team up with him. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. What brings you to this part? What you doing up there, brother? I won't attack you, brother. I'm a friendly man. Please don't attack me, because I'm friendly. Listen, I know a thing or two. I, this isn't my first rodeo. Hey there, brother. They were being slow, so I decided to seize the moment. I don't mean any harm. I'm just trying to have a good time here. My leg! <laughs> See you later, sucker. <laughs> I heard their legs break. They had jumped in. This is my base here, brothers. You guys friendly? What are your names? Open the door, please. <laughs> you, you want me to open the door, brother? Yeah, we are friendly. We are friendly. Alright, man. Let me see what I can do yeah, for you. Yeah, starting. Get out of my base. This is my base. I, if I ever see you around here, I'll kill you. <laughs> okay. So, well, we got a bunch of cloth now, so we can go through this uh, ladder. I heard the base decaying. There could be some serious loot in there. Are those guys coming back? Hey, man, don't you even think about coming back in here, brother. I just was not thinking that. I'm just walking by. All right, yeah, you, you better keep walking, buster. Oh, don't you do it. Don't you do it. I told you not to do it, and you still did it. Okay, one second. That's one. That's two. This one's for all the boys back home. All right. I climbed a ladder that was placed on an outer wall and took a peek inside. This looked promising. This is, we good, we good, we good, we good, we good, we good, we good. What we twerking with in here? I still had one more layer of wall to get through to be inside. There was a building in this layer, but no loot. Get out of my face. Oh, oh, this is not good. This just became a Yikers. It's upgraded from a Yikes to a Yikers. You ain't getting back up from that one. Uh oh. I know your friends here. Show yourself. I would need to return with ladders, so I hopped back into the outer ring. Oh, did I bleed out? Just remember, one day, I'm coming back, and you're gonna die. <laughs> so I respawned on the beach. I would need some ladders and more equipment to successfully get into that base. I want you to kill me! <laughs> no! <laughs> Italy, like, do something. Hey, man! What are you doing, man? Oh, I'll pick you up. Okay, I'm gonna pick you up, but you gotta run really fast. I think I can just plop a little base feller down. I think I like this spot down here. We're gone. Well encrusted the hill. A pale sun was rising in the distance. Feather-like leaves fluttered in the breeze. Shut up. Was it worth it? Oh, he just delivered me all this wood! Wood delivery! Make sure you're at the job site to get the wood delivery tomorrow! I don't need this if I have, like, no ammo for it. Oh. Get back here, bitch! Stop! Stop! I told you to stop! You shot first, you shot first. No, you shot first! Why you swing that thing at me? Because you shot first and run in my direction. No, you lie! Why you lie to me? Yeah, okay, then I lie. We got him. Hey! I'll pick you up, man! 
Thank you, man. You're not gonna pick you. Nice. Wood for the ladders. Are you making fun of my voice? I was outside the decaying base, but I kept getting into fights. Okay, I'm actually going home. This is too much loot to be dealing with right now. Hey, dude, make yourself something nice, dude. Using the materials I'd obtained, I fortified my base and put away what I didn't need. I did I place that badly? <laughs> Looks good to me. For heck's sake. Roblox recipe. <laughs> Get back here, bitch! I kill you! Oh! This is what I wanted! Yeah! Yeah! Right there! With the ladders crafted, I built back into the decaying base. Yeet! Did you see how gorgeous that jump was? Magnifique! Oh. Up and over the walls once again. That hurt a lot. Okay. okay. I only found a little bit of loot in the courtyard. I had to get inside the base itself. There's no building block right here. Is that big? All right. In here. Where we're we gonna go in? Loot everywhere. Now to secure it. Cover. <gasps> oh no, did I? No! Ah, in my excitement, I had placed the tool cupboard in a way that it blocked the exit. Not a huge deal, but I just had to break it and place a new one. <gasps> Do I have a silencer? I could shoot it out then. Someone had come in, but I hadn't heard them go over the walls. How is that possible? But I still had a small chance. If they didn't see my sleeping bag, I could respawn and maybe grab a gun. Okay, now I had to secure it. What a relief. After grabbing the best items in the base and slapping a door on the entrance, I headed out to take all the loot to my base. I didn't want to run home at night, so I waited to leave until morning came. Taking this over, and that's just kind of a pain. I was on my way home when I heard sniper rifle shots. Probably a roof camper. Yep. Oh! Not like this. Now every player hates people who just stand on their roof shooting everything that moves. But when you're loaded with loot and they're blocking the way home, that is agonizing. That's so annoying, dude. Who does that? Uh... How does he have the angle still? This is terrible. No! Killed by the roof camper after winning a fight and with all the loot on me. I had to get back. This is the worst. Okay, this bag's close. Sucks! Oh my god. This. <sighs> the absolute worst. That guy's not getting off his base, though. Alright, this is tier 1 area, and that guy is camping everything he sees with an L9, I guarantee it. I do want to raid this guy's base now. It certainly rustled my jimmies. Is he still up there? He's still up there! <sighs> oh my- I- yeah, I can't. I could try spawning at the bag near my body again. <sighs> this was gonna be close. Oh, I can keep this tree, maybe. Okay, you can't see me through that tree, hopefully. 
I'm gonna get this guy first, because I don't think this guy... I don't know if I've been looted. I don't think I've... I haven't been looted. Alright, how am I gonna do this? Oh my... The roof camper could directly see my body. I couldn't get to it without being in his line of sight. This called for some new tactics. I could wood wall it, good call. Uh, I need to get my rock then. <laughs> this is so devious. Hopefully no one else rolls up. Probably two more trees will do it. I'll do it like from down here so he can't see me. This man, I have a wife and kids to- Oh! oh. No! I had a bag close. I could get back quickly. We're gonna have to do this quick. With the wall I built giving me cover, I could loot in safety. Now to get home. I guess I'll go this way. A different roof camper shooting at me on the way home. This was not good. This is so dumb. This is the second roof camper that's that's tried to kill me, man. Like, like. Low health, bleeding, and starving, with the crack of rifle fire surrounding me. But I had to get home. I have nothing to heal with, guys. Good news is I'm almost home. Come on, 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 come on. Ah! I'd made it home. And I wanted revenge on that roof camper. But now I had to take a break. As you may have seen in my past videos, I've had some interesting relationships. And earlier I got a call from the police asking if I'd come down for a chat. Hi, I'm Detective Jackson. Thanks for coming down to the station. We uh, knew you were close with the victim, so uh, we just had a few questions, uh, if you don't mind. Fine with me. Okay, right this way. Right this way, sir. Uh, please, take a seat. Now, we appreciate you coming in. Uh, this is Detective Jackson. No relation. Uh, you know, Wellen, we've been watching you for some time. Uh, how would you describe your uh, relationship with the, the, uh, the victim? I dated her for some time, but I had to break it off. There were some deep-seated issues stemming from... That's personal. Now, you may be aware that the victim was actually a suspect in another homicide that, uh, that very night. That's right, Detective Jackson. Gored through with a knife. Now, uh, we understand that you were, uh, familiar with both of the victims. Well, uh, yeah, I had relationships with both of them, but... I mean, it wasn't serious. It was, you know... Okay, low key. cut the baloney. We know that you did it. I think you know more than you're letting on. Uh. There's no way I did this. I was streaming that night. Live on twitch.tv slash Wellen. I couldn't have done this. Whoa. Oh, slow down there, Detective Jackson. We don't want lawyers breathing down our necks. Okay, well, is that it? Am I free to go? You're free to go. For now. Agreed, Jackson. We're gonna crack this like a cold one with the boys. The next day, I joined the server and was greeted with this screen. My base had been raided while I was offline, but I still wanted my revenge, so I went to go investigate the roof camper's tower. Yeah, it was right here, and it is no longer here. Alright. I had been robbed of my revenge, so I spent some time thinking. What about another roof camper? Not necessarily one that had even killed me, but one who had killed another person. What if I got a sort of proxy revenge, serving my vengeance through another avenue? So I got to work. Someone is not having roof campers. I found a raided base under a rock formation. I went to take a look inside. 
A bit of loot. Maybe there was more in here. I'd come back in a bit. I went to gather more materials to rake. Let's go up this thing. Ooh. Tower of Hell. Okay, gamers. I decided to build a base nearby. I was starting to obtain some loot again, so I needed a place to put it. Two rifles in a random what? decayed base. I could use these to raid. What the hell is this, man? A tier 3 workbench outside the decaying base. I could use this to craft explosive ammo. When I arrived back at the rock base, a wall deeper into the core had finally decayed. Ooh, okay. There was a good amount of equipment in here. I transferred it all over to my new home. Then I set out to find a suitable target. Hey, do you know where there are roof campers? No, no. There ain't no roof campers. Guy doesn't speak English. Oh! I ran into the ocean to escape. Out to sea, gamers. So I got home with my loot and consulted the server chat. Where could I find a roof camper? And I got a prompt response, so I went to check it out. Oh yeah, this was it. Look at this tower, looming over the landscape. Oh yeah. Wonder how many nakeds have fallen in these fields. Alright, I'll be back in the morning. Yeah, I still need a SAR though. Now another player's shop was selling a rifle for a small oil refinery. So I took the scrap from my base, re-kitted, and went to buy the refinery. So 125 scrap for SR, basically. Whose man's is this? La da 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 di da 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 Beautiful Hello I come to buy What you buying? The uh the song Thank you Okay, thank you. Was uh, not expecting anyone to be in there. Now I spent the next two hours or so strictly farming sulfur and metal, and I found an old base with some large furnaces intact. So I built a small house right next to these and smelted all that I farmed. As I got more and more gunpowder, I headed to craft the explosive ammo at the tier 3 workbench I found. I avoided fights and kept my head down, at one point finding a Thompson in a raided base. But I recalled how infuriating the roof camper had been. I channeled that to farm. After crafting some explosives, I put them away and headed to the target to scout it out. Ready to roll? Sun is shining. Let's see what we can do. I was inside the outer walls of the tower I was going to raid, but I still had to find a way inside. I can easily get out over here, so that's a good thing to know. The fact that they're wooden makes this harder, actually. Wooden external walls. They're much trickier to climb than stone, but less sturdy. I found a spot where I could get into the base itself, but if I missed this jump, I would be stuck in the no man's land between the walls. I had to make it. See, if I, like, clip on it, then I'm screwed. <sighs> So I went to retrieve the explosives from my base and came back. Here goes nothing, I guess. I'd made it over. I was in. Alright. 
Jesus Christ. The space was weird. Traps everywhere. By dodging one trap, I'd run right into another. I had to get back inside, and do it quickly. The despawn timer on my body was now ticking, and with it were all the explosives I had. Stay hidden. It'll be close. No! It was starting to look like I'd never have my revenge. Traps, bad luck, and mistakes had cost me everything, but I had to try to get in one more time. This was gonna be my last chance. And the walls end right there. No! 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 Oh my. By the skin of my teeth, I'd done it. I was back inside. Now to get all my loot back. Okay, slow. But with purpose. All of the loot. I was back in this. Alrighty. Let's get to what I came here to do. Up and over and I was inside the tower. I crept carefully down the winding stairs until I came to the bottom. The raid was on. I was thinking I'd do the door maybe? Cause I bet that's TC. was slicing through the doors of the tower. Hopefully I got to loot or the tool cupboard soon. Oh. A stash of guns and ammo. Nice. I definitely don't have enough to go through this. I had a feeling it was just the one more garage door to their cupboard, but I needed a bit more explosive ammo, so now I had to get out. It's kinda high up. How do I get out of here? Okay, all right. I went home to scrape together enough to make the explosives to get through one more door. But when I was in my base, I heard a scuffle outside. Bad luck, but back to my mission. I grabbed the explosives and headed back to the tower to finish the job. Jump straight for the ladder. Oh, whew. easy. There I was, climbing the tower. Time to finish this. There wasn't much loot in here, but now I had control of the tool cupboard. However, I couldn't build at the bottom of the tower because of the other bases. I took a moment to think, then had a nice realization. Uh, well, I won't be building blocked higher up. I think his roof camping days are numbered. Good luck getting through that. Good stuff. No one would ever roof camp from this tower again. 
That is, unless they brought out some serious explosives to ungrief their roof camping crow's nest. Time to head back to my furnace base and then head home. I think it was time to retire. I had an oceanside cabin calling my name. I was going home. Back at home by the seaside, I thought about the revenge that was taken from me, but I had avenged myself through a different roof camper, and just knowing that some helpless fresh spawn wouldn't take a rifle bullet to the skull while hitting a tree with a rock, that was enough. I was content. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you are watching this the day of upload, I'm currently live streaming some Rust on Twitch. Come say hi. Also, make sure to go follow my Instagram. All the links are below. Big thanks to my friend Sasha for helping me film the skit, and also thank you to my thumbnail artist Reed. Make sure to check out his Instagram too. This is your friend Wellen, until next time.